Hi guys! Welcome to my first ever YouTube video. I know so many of you have asked me so many times to do so many different looks that I have posted on my Instagram, on YouTube, and I just, you know, I get in the moment. I never create any videos for it because I like to be free over at my house in the midst of working for like four to five hours creating these elaborate looks. Um, but welcome to my channel. I'm Sydney, formerly known as the Naked Artist S for Sydney. Um, on Instagram, um, I'm going to put my hands down below. I am just, this is crazy. I'm posting on my first YouTube video, so I'm excited. Um, it's gonna be kind of long, of course, because this takes so much time, so much effort. I'll try to speed up some stuff. So if you guys are still here and still watching, continue to watch because this look is awesome. Okay, I, so usually it, it's really, really hard for me to come up with any um, ideas on what to do for my makeup. I just randomly scroll and like connect to um, ideas or looks together and kind of make them my own. So this time around, I asked a few people on my Instagram um, what I should be doing, right? So someone told me to do Beauty and the Beast. So I'm going to try to do that. Um, and I think that's great just because like her yellowish, goldish dress go along with my new Juvia's um, place palette which is the Nubia Glow and I wanted to use this and I'm like you know I don't want to do a plain ass cut crease and you know whatever but the colors are freaking beautiful and I can't wait to play with them I'm gonna do a simple eye um and kind of just the draw beauty and the beast on my face so um first and foremost I'm going to tell you guys what I'm going to be using I might add some products along the way but um yeah, let me just show you now. Of course, I'm going to put some links in the bottom um, just so you guys can also, you know, purchase or use similar products to it. So I had the Makeup Forever Face Paint Palette. I don't know. Who knows it about me? Anyway, so I found this one for like $16, $17 on Amazon. As you can see, I've used it a lot for a lot of my looks. Um, I know some other makeup artists tend to use it for like foundation and kind of you know um other different things um i'm also going to be using my bright matte palette from beauty bay this is like one of my favorite palettes i'm a matte girl I'm not that big on shimmers and this has it so i'm going to be using that as well as my elf foundation i love fenty everyone knows i love fenty i live for fenty I'm 4'10", um, but this is a great dupe. Um, this is a satin finish, Fenty. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm gonna be using the Fenty bronzer, um, Alamar Cosmetics Complexion Trio. It's one of my faves. It just warms up the skin so well. Um, as well as the Jeffree Star Rain Freeze Palette. I've never used a highlighter that has so much pigment ever in my life. Um, for some blush and some more warming up, I'm going to be using the Blush Binder from the Crayon Case. Um, P. Louise Base for my eyes. Um, yeah, and some Samitra Minks for my lashes, of course. Okay, so I already primed my face and I'm using the Major Hangover um, Primer from Too Faced. I like it. Um, it hydrates my face, even though I'm, I tend to be a little bit oily sometimes. Um, but I personally like it just because it gives you like that creamy, silky, um, very easy to blend kind of canvas before, you know, you start to put anything and of course I put it on first so I can do its thing before I start messing around my face so let's get started so I'm gonna start with some P. Louise base this is in rumor four so the brush that I use is from Juno & Co this is their flat brush so good um, the reason I like it is because it's good 
no okay the reason i like it is it i guess it like it packs together after a while so it's kind of like using one of those silicone um brushes i have one around here somewhere it's kind of like using the silicone brush but it has hairs on it so i'm just gonna use that to carve out my brows i'm not gonna fill them in just because they're already microbladed and ombre so i don't want to make them too pigmented So I like to work <clears throat> with one eye first. I don't know, maybe that's just me. But I like to work with one eye first. And then, um, yeah, and then do the other one, obviously. <laughs> obviously. So yeah, um, I know some people like to work simultaneously. So whatever they do to one eye, they do to the other at the same time. I can't like I I want to see the finish. Imagine you start. <laughs> imagine you start doing your makeup and you don't like it. So now you have to redo both eyes instead of just like practicing a, a new look on the second one. But again, that's just me. Um, but I I do prime both eyes just because sometimes some colors work better when your um, base is dry rather than very tacky and I, I find that sometimes I tend to put more eyeshadow base on my left eye than I do on my right because I just scoop up way too much as you can see it's like piling up right here but um, the only issue that I have sometimes is that my eyes tend to crease so badly so, um, yeah, sometimes I leave this area kind of like by itself. So that way when I come back, it's not as creased and I don't have to do as much because the way it creases is exactly how your color is going to lay. So I haven't really thought out a look that I would like to do with this Dubious Place palette, but we're just going to wing it. We're going to go on with this brush from Morphe. And we're gonna use the darker orange shade right here in the middle and kind of deepen up that outer corner. Wow, okay. Wow, this is a lot of thing, I like it a lot. So I'm gonna do a regular cut crease because I feel like I want more attention on the on my face and I do on my eyes so what I like to do is I like to pack it and then I blend out but at the same time you don't want your primer or your eyeshadow base to be too wet with these colors because of the type of formula that you have unless you want that like you want it to stay still and not move around and move around I don't mean like move around on you like throughout the day I mean like while you're actually doing your look it's looking really good so far it's my first time using this palette I would go in up here and kind of merge the two colors together and then drag it up so that way there's like this seamless look and I know that sometimes that tends to um, fade out the previous color that you placed but that's fine because you could just go back in with the brush and then you just go back in with the brush and deepen up that color. Whatever product is left on the brush I like to bring it up to my brow bone or like right underneath my brow for better terms. It's it's so pretty. Oh my god. It's like really pretty. My favorite color is yellow, so I'm being kind of biased right now. Um, and I like to raise my brow a little bit because I have this, this hard brow bone going on right here.
up way to just swipe up right here. So now we're gonna dip back into our B. Louise base. And this, I think I stated the shade already, but whatever. And now we're gonna cut. And again, you can always put some color here some of your base or whatever it is you're using your concealer eyeshadow base um eye primer and just look up but i because my eyes crease i want it to be more above gonna take my Alyssa Edwards palette and I'm gonna use that white and put it right at the inner corner so I'm going in with another Nikita X Morphe Morphe X Nikita um, brush in N2 and we're gonna pack it on we're not gonna um, blend it out just yet so you guys can see this magic working see candy corn vibes anywho so we're gonna put some glitters i have some orange glitter here from semi charming this is beautiful i love this so I'm thinking of putting it more towards like the outer corner, but I don't want it to be like a wing. So I'm probably, I don't know. We're gonna wing it. See what I did there? Okay. So I'm gonna go in with one of my e.l.f. concealer brushes, these little tiny ones right here. I'm gonna take some of my NYX um, glitter primer. And I think I'm gonna put some right here where that yellow and that orange meet. This is basically the eye I'm gonna my other eye and be right back. So, off camera, um, I mixed some colors up and I realized that some of the colors that I'm gonna be using here are basically the colors that I need for my look. So, these are the two characters. I mixed, you know, some of the colors for like, um, you know, the browning of her, her dress here. I don't know if you guys can really see, like this brown goldish look um his jacket is kind of a darker navy blue color so i mixed that so let's get started so i think that i want to start with the princess oh i'm just gonna use my eyeshadow base as her um as her complexion so let's get started
the hardest part. Well, no, this is the easiest part. It's finished. Um, I'm gonna take my RCMA no color setting powder. I'm gonna use a shit ton of it. And I'm just gonna pack it on to kind of seal that. Scotch, put it right there in the middle, kind of drag it down a little bit actually. So I'm gonna put some on my head and I'm gonna carve out the top of my brows. before I put any powders or anything because I don't want the colors to kind of vary. So what I would do is I, I would like do it now and just make those lines, like you know how it's kind of bleeding a little bit. I'll make those lines more um, perfect. So I'm gonna squirt one more pump of my foundation onto the back of my hand. Just a small, 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 small amount. Like very small amount. I'm gonna dip it in there. I'm gonna coat it generously because that small amount goes a long way and then just go in and perfect everything.
it was kind of a, a struggle and a half. Um, put some foundation on my nose because I noticed I missed some spots because I started the um, the portrait before the face, of course. I'm gonna put some setting powder underneath my eyes. Just set what I've already placed there. Some of my forehead, the usual. So I'm gonna go in with my fancy my matchstick and truffle for some bronzing. To warm up my face a little bit. And I like to bake, you don't, like I typically always leave the powder there when I'm doing this, you don't have to. Everyone does makeup the way they want to do it. Put some to hide this atrocious double chin that I have. Boom. So I'm gonna go with my Alamar Cosmetics um, Brighten and Bronze Complexion Trio. And so, I, as you can see, these are my two faves. This is more for brightening under the eye or anywhere, like, you know, you want to brand as we're talking about me. Swipe this off. I don't think I need So, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use my cinnamon sugar, which is a middle shade, just to bronze like I normally do. And it gives you, it gives you color, so, you know. Go in. Like I normally do. And this is a perfect position so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. So you see I have um, deep set, not that deep to be honest, but I consider it deep, um, like my cheekbones. So right, right there where I'm touching, I'm gonna use some of that darker shade to deepen it up a little bit more. And what I like is like the fact that I'm placing it right here. I don't have to kind of look back and forth to make sure that it's symmetric. I'm gonna put some on my forehead too, but more um, closer to my hairline. And of course, on chin. Um, I'm also gonna go in with that middle shade, the cinnamon sugar. And I'm going to use it to contour my nose too. Brush. And this is a Morphe R2 brush. That's the one I use to remove the powder. This is what I'm looking like right now. I'm gonna go in with my blush binder. <laughs> right, I'm gonna go in and I think I wanna use the first page, this pinky right here. And I'm gonna go in ever so lightly and even tap some off because this does have a lot of pigment in it. And I clearly don't have that much space on my face right now to kind of do what I want to do. And there it goes. Okay, time for the fun. And uh, this it's fun. This is a fun part for me to now include those colors from the eyeshadow palettes but this is a make it or break it point because if i put a shade that i didn't want to put or if i just do anything basically i can easily fuck this shit up so we're gonna go in first with the beauty bay 42 right matte palette like pale but not too pale so let's see eh, it's doing it for me like I'm not Disney but I also want to do my best at um, making for her you know? 
So I think I might just go with nothing else, which is the, the lightest nude shade. Yeah, I think that's best for me. Now we're gonna do her arm. That little bit of arm that you can see. So now we're gonna be dipping into the color Hello Sunshine, which is this color right here. It looks like a pale yellow, but I kid you not, it's not a pale yellow. Let's see, it's like it's literally the same color as the dandelion yellow that's here. You can also um, dip into some of the white too to kind of make um, the color a little bit lighter if need be. So you already see, like it's giving it pigment. Pigment is there. So we're going in. And her dress has some white lines to kind of depict the fact that she has a can-can under. back and forth into the brown that's on this palette this one is called preppy pecan it's brown right here um, i'm gonna go back and forth put more yellow than brown to kind of give it that shadowy look that's on the dress So we're going to use um, Morphe's liquid liner uh, in tea spill. I'm getting so good at memorizing these names. Um, to just add some texture to her hair. They are like similar colors. Her hair color is the same color as his fur. Um, besides the blue, everything else is like pretty much the same. So.
gonna put some mascara. I'm gonna put my lashes on this time. Put some highlighter. Add some extra details that may be missing. And I'll be done. So guys, this is the final look. I'm so happy. Um, of course, you know, I'm gonna try so hard to upload more content and be more creative. This was awesome. I'm looking at myself right now. Um, it was so much fun to recreate. And of course, you know, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Facebook if you would like, subscribe to my channel, definitely turn on notifications because I plan on giving you guys so much more content. So I'll catch you in my next video.